it's a happy day. Joy in my feet, joy in my hands, joy in every way. God took those worldly desires, gave me heavenly fire. Now I got a brand new goal. Since I met this man called Jesus Christ, I got the joy, joy, joy in my soul. Thank you for joining me today on A Woman's Joy. My name is Donette Douglas. I'll be your host for the next half hour. And we're continuing on with our discussion with our dear friend and sister in Christ, Sherry McDaniel. Hi, Donna. It's good to have you here. Good to be here. <laughs> we have so much. I'll tell you, we got all these notes and we looked up scriptures. It's just exciting. And, of course, we always pray that the Holy Spirit will speak Amen. through us. And because uh, God knows what you need to hear out there today. And I just want you guys to be encouraged in your walk with the Lord today uh, and find hope. Maybe you're struggling in something area of your life. And I pray you find some hope today through the word. And uh, we just like to see people grow. You know, I don't want to stay a babe in Christ on, on the bottle. You know, we don't want our grandchildren to stay little babies. We want them to learn to crawl and, and then to pull mm -hmm. themselves up and walk, you know, and then look forward to all those things mm -hmm. kids look forward to, mm -hmm. you know, getting driver's license, <laughs> becoming a teenager, getting married, having children. You know, we want people to grow. I don't want you to stay a babe. And, and I know God doesn't want you to stay a babe. It talks about maturing mm -hmm. in the Lord. Well, first of all, we have to have that relationship. And I pray today that you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If not, it's just quite simple. You just say, Lord, I have sinned. Come into my heart. Cleanse me. Wash me. Set me free. And be my Savior. Just tell him. Honest. Just be honest with him. And then uh, let him just work in your life. Get in the Word of God. Get in the Word of God every day and read something. Meditate on it. Put it into use in your life. Memorize scriptures. Because I'll tell you, when that enemy comes at you, it's good to have that scripture Amen. you can stand on. I use the joy of the Lord as my strength many days. If things are <laughs> seem to be coming at me and I'm just one of the, the enemy wants to discourage me, I just, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I yes. know I can make it through yes. today because the joy of the Lord is my strength. So I just pray. And I know Sherry does too, that uh, you are growing in the Lord. Your faith is being strengthened through these programs. Because we've been ex talking about the biblical meaning of love now for several, several months. And today in particular, we're continuing on with the discussion of chapter 13 of 1 Corinthians, which everyone is known as the love chapter, okay? But let's start with our scripture today. We're going to Jeremiah uh, 15, 16. I'm reading this from the Living Bible. Your words are what sustain me. Mm. Listen to this. Your words, God, are what sustain me. They are food to my hungry soul. Wow. They bring joy to my sorrowing heart and delight me. And the word will. <laughs> It'll bring you out of the pity party up Amen. into the joy. Yes, it will. How proud I am to bear your name, O Lord. I like the way it's worded there in that living Bible. Your words are what sustain me. They're a joy to my hungering soul. I pray you have a hungering and a thirst for the things of righteousness, for the things of God today, for his holy word. So, Cherry, I'm going to have you once again, I want to have you read that uh, chapter 13 again to start out today. We just, um, time got away from us last week, just really kind of got to discussing that chapter. So, if you'll read that for okay. us today. Starting chapter 13, uh -huh. verse 1. If I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I have become a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and know all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I give my possessions to feed the poor, and if I surrender my body to be burned, but do not have love, it profits me nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind and is not jealous, does not brag and is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly, it does not seek its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered, 
does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Hmm. But if there are gifts of prophecy, they will be done away. If there are tongues, they will cease. If there is knowledge, it will be done away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will be done away. When I was a child, I used to speak like a child, think like a child, reason like a child. When I became a man, I did away with childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I will know fully, just as I, ha just as I also have been fully known. But now faith, hope, love, abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. Amen. Amen. You know, I'd yes. like to just, in verse 12 it says, For we now see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. You know, if, if I'm trying to see myself in a mirror and the lighting isn't good, you're going to try to find the light so you mm -hmm. can see, right? Yes. But then face to face mm. with God, the glory mm. of His if the glory of God and His love <laughs> shining brightly. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it, it is love, but it will also reveal to us. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we're talking about. A revelation of God's love mm -hmm. and a revelation of God's love in our lives mm -hmm. being lived out and walked out. Two completely different things, yes. but we're trying, you know, we're, we haven't got it all figured out. No. But that's what we want. We want to love like God loved. And I, I, I say this, just like Jesus walked and talked and, and, and loved and lived mm -hmm. and gave. Gave. Isn't yes. that how mm -hmm. he's calling us to do? And over on Outreach Connection, I say, First John 3, 18, let us not love with words and speech, but with actions and in truth. Mm -hmm. If God proved, did he not? Oh, His yes. love for us. Yes. Over and over and over again. Yeah. Love is an action word. Should the sure. world not be able to see God's love proved out through mm -hmm. us? Mm -hmm. Today, I was reading, uh, we have a daily devotional um, little um, booklet or oh, that yeah, one of those in our bathroom that, here and uh flip it, page it, yeah and it just <laughs> happened to have this scripture and i thought wow that goes right along with what <laughs> uh sherry and i'll be talking about today and so ephesians 3 17 i want to start there and read through chapter 4 verse 3 that christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love hmm. It all starts with Christ, mm -hmm. your relationship with Him, so that we will be rooted and grounded in love, and we dwell in our hearts in faith. Mm -hmm. Faith, again, is one of the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's an action word. Gotcha. May be able, that we may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height. Wow. Wow. I that is that. unending in it. You can go east forever. That. You go west forever. North, south, you just keep going. Mm -hmm. We're never going to, there's so much love. It's never, mm -hmm. there's no end to it. Mm -hmm. And to know the love of Christ. We need to know the love of Christ. Wow. Many people don't realize wow. that. You know, they judge God's love by how they're treated, maybe by their parents mm -hmm. and other people. And so if my mom and dad treat me this way, this must be the way love is. That's not mm -hmm. always true, okay? If it doesn't line up with God's word here that says love is patient and love is kind, mm -hmm. it's not jealous, you know, what it says here in mm -hmm. chapter 13 mm -hmm. of 1 Corinthians, that's not a love like God is talking about. To know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that you might be filled with all the fullness of God, for God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. For Christ so loved His Father, and He loved us, mm -hmm. He went to a cross. Have you went to a cross for somebody? Mm. Wow. Have you stepped in for them? 
Wow. That love just does. came to me. Love does. Love does. Love does. That it might be filled with all the fullness of God. I'm getting greedy. I, I, I have to admit, <laughs> as the older I get and I'm walking with the Lord more uh, through these years of 50 years, in fact, um, <clears throat> I want more. I want Amen. it all. I want yeah. it all. But I have to realize there's something I have to do. It tells you in this holy word, if we obey his commandments. Yes. We're showing God we love him. Mm -hmm. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, and to him, to God be glory. And the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Now, Paul is writing this. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord. And we know he was in prison a lot. And that's where he wrote two thirds of the Bible or the books he wrote. Beseech you that you walk worthy. Woo, when I read that, woo, am I walking worthy of the vocation wherein you are called with all lowliness? And meekness with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. So, the vocation you've been called, you might be called to be a mother. That's a wonderful vocation. Don't ever mm -hmm. devalue that vocation. Children need to be raised in a home and know a mother's love. Amen like God's love, okay? But we're to walk that with lowliness, meekness, long-suffering. God puts you the boss of a big corporation. Are you being long-suffering? Are you showing meekness? Are you not haughty or prideful, arrogant? Do you forbear one another mm -hmm. in love? Somebody makes a mistake. Are you merciful? Give them another chance? Or do you just say, you're out of here? And you're done with them? Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is getting deep. This gets so deep. It's so rich. God's Word. That's what a mirror does, though. Yeah. That's what the mirror does. It, it, it reveals back to us the image. And what we need to consider is that quite possibly and most likely is mm -hmm. what you talked about the world perceives mm -hmm. Uh, uh, about love mm -hmm. that they have experienced in the world. Mm -hmm. So, boy, does that not raise the bar for us Wow! <laughs> to live accountably, yes. lowly, humbly, not doormat low, right. but humble to the Lord, demonstrating the love that He lived and walked out and demonstrating to the world that we live in. Well, you know, sometimes we need to remind ourselves that we're flesh mm -hmm. and we can fall into sin at any time. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've had a personal relationship with the Lord for 50 years, but I know yes. <laughs> I could fall into sin yes. if I don't be on guard, don't keep myself in the Word. I get too tired, wore down. You know, we have to take mm -hmm. care of ourselves physically, too. We need to get a good enough sleep. We need to eat good enough food mm -hmm. to get our body gets That's the right sure. nourishment uh, mm -hmm. physically, and it gets the right nourishment spiritually through the Word. I mean, because we can fall into sin. So I have to be aware that I am flesh. And remember, I fell and mm -hmm. sinned many times through my younger years. Mm -hmm. Tempted. Like everyone, Jesus himself was tempted, but he didn't sin, okay? But we are tempted. Still. Still. <laughs> so we mm -hmm. have to watch it, mm -hmm. you know? We mm -hmm. have to watch it. So we, don't be judging people. There's the word. Don't be judging people. Mm -hmm. Because I'm flesh too. And I have sinned. God has forgiven me. I've repented. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm maturing in the Lord, and I'm moving on, I'm moving on, I'm moving on, waiting for that day, glorious day, to go home. But until then, I need to share that love. I need to share what God has taught me through the reading of the Word, through life's experience, mm -hmm. of allowing God to take me through things. 
So I could give the testimony. There you go. That's the word I'm looking you for. Know, the uh, testimony. As long-suffering and yeah. patient as God has been with us, um, every single time we try to throw out judgment, we need to remember in our hearts how long-suffering God was yes. and is and always will be with us. That's right. You know, um, it, it, here's a silly example. Um when my kids were little, how many of us uh, didn't say, two hands on the glass so you don't spill the milk? <laughs> and, you know, of course, the milk gets spilled. Yeah. Or the milk gets spilled. Uh -huh. But then, have you ever turned right around? And then you're like, I told you so, I told you so. But then you pick a glass up yourself and... You dump uh -huh. it. You know, so we need to remember from the grace that has been extended to us. Amen. So that what people continue to see in us mm -hmm. is what God did for us. Right. And so that they know it's available to them without judgment. Yes. For those who are in the Lord, there is now no condemnation. Nation. Jesus went to the cross. Yes. To set us free. Yes. And, and, he didn't just do that for Sherry and Don. No. He did that for everyone. Yeah. And, and, and again, it's about us recognizing what God did for us through that great love. And because of that, then uh, last time you shared um, mm -hmm. the, the spiritual uh, attributes of, mm -hmm. of God's love, patience, self-control, mm -hmm. kindness, gentleness, meekness. We should extend that gratefully. Yes. And with gratitude because it's been extended to us. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, Dennett, we're going to have to grow into that. Mm -hmm. Because oh, yes. this flesh is, the minute you say, okay, I'm going to be good today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say only kind words. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be gentle. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be long suffering. Satan's going to pull out the sops. Yes. Okay. But then again, how can we learn to be patient if we don't have anything that develops Experience. patience yes, in right. us? Experience. Yes. So Experience. we need to understand that this this is like you talked about little children growing. Yes. You know, this is a growing process. But the beauty of it is in Christ, we can have victory. Uh, will we ever fully arrive? When Jesus takes our hand. Yes. But until that time, we just keep walking um, in faith with him to let him grow in us um, all of his gifts, yes. all of his fruit, all of his promises. Uh, and we talked about this last time, that the promises of God are realized through faith and patience. So this is a biggie. It definitely is. It's a biggie. To, if we want to realize the promises of God, and what do we know about that? Depends on which theologian you listen mm -hmm. or, or which mm -hmm. study you read. Um, there could be upwards of over 6,000 promises in God's Word for His people. So if we want to realize those, then yes. we must grow our faith and we must grow our patience. That's how it's done, God says. Yes. Patience, cheerful endurance. And I was trying to find that scripture in Romans where it talks about patience, uh, tribulation. Um, mm -hmm. it's not, I thought it was in Romans, and I'm not finding it right away. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'll see if I can find it here in a minute. When you are There's a good one in Romans I could read. Yeah. Romans 15, 5, and that was one of the scriptures. Yeah, uh, that may be it. That, where faith comes from. Okay. Uh, start, I'll just read 4 through 6. How about okay. that? Um, for, what, for whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction, mm -hmm. so that through perseverance and the encouragement of the Scriptures, we might have hope. And here comes the origin of, of perseverance. Yes. Now may the God who gives perseverance and encouragement grant you to be of that same mind with one another according to Christ Jesus, so that with one accord you may, with one voice, glorify the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Amen. even our perseverance, Donna, yes. it comes from God. Yes. We love God, or we love because God first loved us. Mm -hmm. God is love, and God is patient. 
God yes. is forbearing. God is long-suffering. And if God is those things, we talked about it on the last show. And when you mm -hmm. say that, you do that little yes. cute analogy, like put your name there. <laughs> yes. Is Sherry yes. kind? Is Sherry yes. good? Is Sherry long-suffering? Is Sherry uh, patient? Uh, mm -hmm. If I cannot honestly stand before God mm -hmm. and say, I'm doing my very best. I'm not perfect. But God, I'm giving you my best. Mm -hmm. Then, then I need to open up more. But it hurts. Yes, it mm -hmm. does. But it hurt Jesus too. Mm -hmm. In every way, He was human, like yes. us. In every way, He was tempted, like us. In every single way, the Bible tells us He had to become like us, so that we could understand that we can have victory Amen. through Him. Amen. Amen. Well, you know, you hear people jokingly say, well, don't pray for patience. Oh, yeah. You know what? Pray for patience. Exactly. <laughs> Do it. That's mm -hmm. part of the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is a, one of the qualities mm -hmm. of love. And I want to tell you what, once you get patience in your life, there's a lot of peace that comes along. Amen. <laughs> Amen. A lot of peace. And I did find that scripture. It's, uh -huh. uh, it is Romans. It's 5. Um, I'm just going to start at one. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God mm -hmm. through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherewith we stand and rejoice in hope. Boy, we yeah. all want this in our life, don't we? Yeah. Of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, mm -hmm. that's cheerful endurance, and patience cheerful endurance, mm -hmm. experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Mm. Mm. You know, God has taught me about patience through the years. And that's what the wonderful thing is about Jesus, the Holy Spirit residing in you, because he checks you. I mean, I love it when that little voice said, uh, I, I, was yes. that really I welcome the way that. to act mm -hmm. or whatever? Because I want to grow. I'm, mm -hmm. I, I, I pray for, that I have a teachable spirit always. I want to grow in the Lord. I want to get stronger in my faith, you know, and mature. And, uh, you know, a lot of people get really uptight when they have to wait in a line <laughs> and a grocery store mm -hmm. or a, any store, mm -hmm. any store, they get really irritated mm -hmm. to have to wait. Mm -hmm. They think everything is microwave fast. You know, we have a drive through to get food and this, but it's not OK. Life is not. But God has helped me immensely in this area. And it's only because of him growing mm -hmm. me, the word growing me. See, that's the thing about reading the word every day. It's. It's cleaning mm -hmm. out the stuff mm -hmm. that's not of God, and He's blessing it from above with things that are of God, okay? Mm -hmm. So He has taught me. One day I was in line, and I was in a hurry to get <laughs> somewhere, okay? And I was standing there, and it all of a sudden I had a peace come over me, and I realized, you know what? I have hurried all day long. God has given me a moment or a few minutes to just rest. Mm -hmm. Not having to answer into anybody or not hearing all the voices, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I could just rest. I could pray for people around me, if that, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, but I could rest. He brought that peace. And so now every time I have to stand in line, I think about that. Mm -hmm. And people may comment to me, and I'm not boasting on me, okay? I'm boasting on what God has done in this body. And they'll say something about, you know, mm -hmm. I say, God, I'm just thankful to have a moment to just stop and relax, rest for a while. Mm -hmm. I've been on the go all day long, mm -hmm. one thing to another. And so it brings peace. It brings Amen. peace. Now, I haven't arrived in, <laughs> yes. in my life, but that's an area God has helped me in. I've seen growth in, yes. okay? So patience, cheerful endurance. You know, the Bible tells us that Jesus looked to the cross with joy, and that didn't mean he went, oh, goody, goody, uh -huh. goody. There you go. But he, he looked beyond the cross mm -hmm. and saw that we were on the other side. Yes. So he endured all that he had to go through 
because of us to give us his greatest gift of love. Yes. And and so when we look to these things, we, we need to understand, like you, you've been hurrying all, all day. day long. But <laughs> God gave you a gift. And when you realize that gift, mm -hmm. Donette, then you were able to have peace and joy. And that's what we're talking about. Yes. The peace and joy that comes from the gift of God's love. Right. And it's available to all. To all. It doesn't have a, a pre-qualification. The Bible simply says, whosoever. Whosoever. And everyone who's watching today yes. is a whosoever. Yes. Amen. Amen. Aren't we thankful? Oh, so and grateful. it's for whosoever. Amen. Whosoever. Amen. You know, um, we just I just want you to realize God wants the best for you. Amen. He wants the best. He wants that abundant life for everybody. He's made it a choice. Mm -hmm. You've heard Sherry and I talk that word choice. hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. Like I, when my life fell apart, I could have got bitter or I could get better. Mm -hmm. I chose to get better. When things happen during the day, we can choose to get bitter mm -hmm. or we can choose to get better. I'm glad Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. You need to have him in your life. You need that relationship. That's the only way you can get better. Amen. But if you decide to be bitter, it means that you're going out on your own away from God mm -hmm. to take on the world. The enemy came to kill, steal, and destroy you. The world will beat you up, chew you up, spit you out, chew you up, and kill you if you can. But Jesus on the other side came to give us a life, Amen. an abundant life. Amen. No, it's not always going to be easy, but it's possible. God's Word says so. This is your roadmap right here. Sherry and I are going to continue on next month. We'll be talking about patience for a while. Because we need to learn to be patient. We need to learn to be kind. We learn to be um, meek, have meekness and uh, long-suffering in our life. I lost my place in there. I started to mention all the things that didn't. Mm -hmm. I moved the scripture, but you know from reading, read this. Read 1 Corinthians 13 again. Study it. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal truths to you and to reveal God's love in your life. And maybe some of your family need to know him too. Until next week, God bless. Have joy in your heart today. Ask Jesus in, okay? One day I was walking in a world of sin. No rest for my weary soul. Then I met a man, said he'd be my friend. All my burdens he did roll. He took those worldly desires, gave me heavenly fire. Now I got a brand new goal. Since I met this man called Jesus Christ, I got the joy, joy, joy. in the studio tonight. There's an atmosphere for miracles, spirit of revival here tonight. We've been declaring how